Hello, my name is Strider Prime, and I build models, plastic models, as you can see here. I am what you call a hobbyist, or a model builder. I build all sorts of kits, and I've been doing this for, I would say, at least 25 years of my life. It is a hobby that I have enjoyed for a long time. It has guided me through many things, inspired me, and shaped my attitude and my, uh, my persona to this industry. It, it is uh, something that I've enjoyed for quite some time. And this enjoyment has brought me a bit of a, a little bit of a kind of a concern that I have now begun to notice take form for quite some time. To explain this, I have to go back to the beginning, to when I was a kid, I would say 10, 11 years old, and uh, I remember my dad taking me to a, you know, to the toy store. At the time, I was big on, on uh, baseball, and I like baseball, of course, so we went to a section of the toy store and we I noticed these uh, boxes of uh, different vehicles and I didn't understand it and my first model was a submarine um, didn't uh, didn't know what to do I, I was actually using Elmer's glue at the time which was uh, of course first mistake every modeler does but I soon realized the potential of making something unique to me and I got hooked immediately and then from there from then on in my dad took me to a hob, you know a model store uh, we went to several places in New Jersey looking for any types of kits at the time uh, but the, the big uh, the big seller kits were of course Ravel and Monogram and I think I've seen to I remember to me at the time and I really enjoyed it and those were the those were my fun times when I was with my dad but now I'm a bit concerned with the fact that I am noticing that there are not that many model stores out there through the years I'm starting to see them close their businesses shutting their doors and selling either selling or putting their inventory away mainly because now, the envi the our our environment has changed. Now it's easy to find a kit anywhere on the internet. You can pretty much go to any website that sells model kits and buy the ones you want. And it's great for us consumers, to us hobbyists. But where will the next generation of model builders are going to come come from? Where are those kids that are going to go to a store and actually see a kit for the very first time? Hold it in their hands. Ask questions to the, to the store owner. Give them ideas. Where are those stores? This is a question that I have been answering and asking myself for quite some time. I mean... I understand that these days kids are easy to pretty much discover this on the internet and uh, yeah they're smarter than the you know smarter than us when we were kids before but the joy of a kid going to a store is something that cannot be denied um, that it, 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 it's not something that you can visually see you have to actually physically hold it in your hand to understand it to see it and to see the kits actually being built or actually built certain model stores that I remember when I was a kid had windows decorated with built model kits set up in dioramas or standalones and those are the ones that catches the eye of of the youth these days because of this I don't think we're going to be seeing the next generation of modelers these days. Soon, guys like me and older, you know, 
that are reaching 50 or 60 years old will be the only people building model kits. And we might see that, uh, I, I'm starting to see that here in the States. Obviously, across, you know, across the ocean and in Europe and Southeast Asia, that may not be an issue. But here, we're now losing our next generation of modelers. So, I have decided that I should somehow help our fellow hobby stores. And therefore, I am prepared to create a series of videos called Support Your Local Hobby Store. And I would like to invite everyone who is into this to join me in this uh, in this endeavor to support our, our those those uh, excuse me to support those stores who has given us a lot who has given us the inspiration and the ideas on building model kits. Now, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be releasing a few videos. Um, I'm going to be visiting some of my favorite hobby stores that uh, I go and pick up kits, pick up supplies, pretty much have conversations with the uh, owners on uh, new products that are coming out, what their take on is on that, and just giving them the giving them the credit they deserve to support them as best as I can and to make sure that just to let them know that we're still here and we're 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 behind you all the way and to hopefully bring new um new business into their into the into their stores not for existing model builders but for new model builders for those who haven't been part of the um who may have decided to retire from the industry for quite some time and want to do their part or for those who want to get their children involved and then get their friends involved on this new media. Now I'm gonna set some ground rules here guys because uh, this is I, I want you to understand I had to think this through and I want you guys to understand that I don't want you to impose on their privacy. So I had a, I've set up a series of rules and I hope you guys follow this to the letter. Rule number one, ask permission of the store that you go visit the most. If they know you and obviously uh, they know, you know, you know them, then just say, listen, I would like to promote your vid your store on YouTube. I want to give a uh, um, an amateur video view of your store, the contents, what you, you know, what you are show, you know, what do you sell, what is your location, um... If they have a website, of course, promote that as well. Always ask permission first. Don't, uh, don't, you know, don't do it, you know, behind their backs. So that's rule number one. Rule number two: Do not ask them for any type of money or financial support. You're doing this for free. Don't ask them for discounts. Don't ask them for any type of favors or anything like that you're gonna do this for free and you're gonna say listen I'm just here to support you guys because obviously if you if I support you you'll be supporting me by of course staying here maybe that term is not properly said but it's you know you win either you know both ways your video will be on YouTube you'll get them so you know X amount of hits their stores is going to be promoted they're going to bring in more business and obviously they'll get more kits so that's rule number two rule number three uh, unless they request it I would rather not record them or the owners of the store record the store themselves and record everything if the store sells radio controlled vehicles or, ro or rocketry or bicycles or whatever show everything if they if of course the store has 50 percent of models and the 50 percent of other stuff record that too you remember you're you're helping them out so i would suggest you give them the benefit of you know try to help them out as best as you can and of course keep the videos uh if possible under five to ten minutes if you can 
I will give you my examples in the next couple of days. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my new series of videos called Support Your Local Hobby Store. Thank you and have a good day.